Okay, before you watch this video, two things that everybody needs to know. First of all, all of these are recorded and edited at least a day or two in advance, some of them even more. And any changes that occur between recording and uploading, those I will discuss in the first episode of WNBA Weekly. If someone gets hurt during preseason, odds are I'm going to miss it by like an hour or so. And then I will talk about that on May 13th when I upload the first episode of the season. Second of all, I am not in any way associated with the WNBA or any of their sponsors or affiliates. I am not part of the Associated Press. I'm just a guy who loves basketball and wants to talk about the game that I love. So, yeah, all of these are just my own personal opinions based on the observations that I've made. I do take into account some of the things that the media and players and other people will say, but at the end of the day, these are my opinions. So if I happen to say something negative about one of your favorite teams, deal with it. Greetings and welcome to The Fan Perspective. I'm your host Nathan Nile and these are the WNBA preseason power rankings where I take a look at all the moves that a team made during the offseason and try to determine where I think they will finish up at the end of the regular season. And you already know who it is so I'm not even going to bother just any fanfare or anything. It, that number one I have selected. I could waste your time with a whole 10 minute video telling you all the reasons why they're going to win, but I'm going to sum it down to one simple reason. Maya Moore. That's it. Drop the mic. I'm done. I'm out. That's all I need to say. I'm, you ain't even got to know. That's all you got to know. They got Maya Moore. That's all they need. You already know what it is. I don't understand why you're still watching this video. I already told you. They got Maya Moore. You know they're going to get another 20 win season. You know they're just going to be dominating all damn year long. I mean, why are you even watching this video? You already know what it is. But seriously, since drafting Maya Moore, the Lynx have known nothing but success. 20 wins every single season. Five visits to the finals over a six year period, including three championships. And when they don't win it all, the team that beats them wins it all. And if you look at last year's final, the Lynx barely lost. In Game 5, it was a late tip-in by NECA to give the Sparks the lead. And even before then, if Beard misses that 3 in Game 1, a clutch 3 at the buzzer, if she doesn't hit that, this could have easily been a 3-1 Finals victory for the Lynx. As long as they've got the MVP and Hall of Famer in Maya Moore, this team is going to be scary. Everyone's going to have trouble against them. The downside to it is that when you look at the roster, she's the only starter under the age of 30. And so they, they have a window. They, it is shrinking rapidly. That being said, every time I underestimate the Lynx, they, they prove me wrong. So I'm going to give them their due respect. They've earned the right to be considered the best team in the league by consistently being the number one contender every single season. Last year was a rough year for them, but they still ended up finishing number one. And this year, Lindsey Whalen, Simone Augustus, they decided to skip the, the offseason, not play overseas, so they can rest their bodies in preparation for a championship run. Because they know that these days are coming to an end. But, they, but as long as they've got this core together, Brunson and Fowles, who are both beasts in the paint. Simone Augustus, one of the best scorers in the league. Lindsey Whalen, possibly the second best point guard in the league behind only Sue Bird. And of course, Maya Moore, the, one, the engine that makes this train run, the one that brings it all together, the one that gives them the success, the girl who can score 40 points anytime she likes, and then still go on the other side of the floor and defend the best players in the league. And even though we're reaching that point where we will slowly start to see them fade away, the older players will start either uh, they won't produce anymore or they'll end up leaving, leaving the team, either getting cut or retiring, whatever it may, the case may be. Even though you can definitely see an end in sight for this team, their future is definitely in question. And you, know, you don't know how many more years they're going to be able to keep this group together and sustain that excellence. The group is together right now. So as long as they still have that solid foundation in place, I, I, I don't think anyone should ever question how much this team is capable of dominating. I mean, the Lynx already have four championships, and they've come this close, like inches away from two others. So as long as Maya Moore and the rest of her supporting cast are in place, like, you just cannot doubt the Lynx. You just can't. 
Yes. And with that, we have come to the end of the WNBA 2017 preseason power rankings. Be sure to leave comments down below on this or any of the other videos with anything that you disagree with, things that you think I missed that you should have been pointed out. And if you haven't already, don't forget to like this video, subscribe, and share it with your friends. Let's help grow this audience. Let's build a community. And don't forget to tune in tomorrow for the very first episode of WNBA Weekly. That's right. Tomorrow, May 13th, the WNBA season officially begins. And whoo, I am excited for it. There's a lot of good things to look forward to this year. The talent level just keeps growing. So until tomorrow, this has been The Fan Perspective. I'm your host, Nathan Lyle. I hope you have a great day. Hope you had a great off season. And I hope you look forward to having a great season. But seriously though, how many of you actually bothered to watch to the end of this video? It's unnecessary. I told you they have Maya Moore. Once I said they have Maya Moore, you should have just left the video. That's all I really need to say. I mean, ain't no one else in this league even on her level. It's Maya Moore, goddammit. Best fucking player this league has ever known. Maya fucking Moore. That's all I need to say. That's all you gotta know. Why are you still here?